All right, welcome to my day 85 progression guide. So for today, we did not get a level increase, but from what I hear, we might be getting one either tomorrow or Friday. So take that with a grain of salt. Starting out, you wanna to go to your artificial island. Then you wanna go back to build and you wanna hit claim because you can only hold these resources for 24 hours. On top of that, don't forget to kill your enemies before the weekend. But besides that, you wanna do Mia's kitchen and you wanna do your four bounties for the day. And I'm gonna go with the Sparrow. Next, we got Vitality, starting with joint operations. So for today, we got access to Shoulders, Helm, a Coco, and a Shiro Matrix. So this one's pretty good. But again, I'm just going to focus on weapon materials, which brings us to Inner Cell Exploration. Now, remember, you want to check Aspera, and you want to also check Vera. And you want to see if you have any level 3 or level 2 Stargates. And how you tell is if this weapon battery category has a number 3, it's a 3 star. And if it has a number 2, it's a 2 star. But if you don't have any level 3s or level 2s, you can always do dimensional trials. And if you need money, you can do space-time domains. But you might want to also consider getting Omnium Beacon, so that way you can push towards that 80. Next, we have our optional, which is giving gifts to your 1.0 characters. And you can do that by going to the Black Market, to this island, and doing the Claw Machine, or doing your two trainings for the day. But the things that are not optional is you want to do your six fun zones, and you want to do your six gray space fishers for the day. And if you need help on how to do that, I have a guide on my channel. Then we got our events, Meoria Tour. Remember, you can already go ahead and max this out. So if you haven't yet, you have six days to do that. So make sure you're doing enough races so you can max out the whole store. Want to go ahead and give you another warning about the survey. We have less than 24 hours to complete that. And you want to go ahead and get those free dark crystals. And of course, we have the supply run. So you want to make sure you're logging in every day so that way you can get those materials. So then we have our ultimate weapon. So of course, you want to go ahead and get your intel gathering and get all of your pictures. But today, we do not have weapon destruction and we need to do upcoming remnants. Now, for me personally, I think weapon destruction is a better way to get these points. So you could consider just waiting till tomorrow and just doing a lot of weapon destructions. But let me kind of go ahead and go over what these new missions are. So we have infiltration to where you have to go around and sneak and kill all of these Ida enemies. Uh, as you see here, you just have to avoid being detected. I think this one right here is probably the easiest one to do. Uh, the next one we have destroy the device. Now this one is kind of annoying. You basically need to like jump on the things and do it kind of quickly. So that way you can try to get the max points. I don't really think it's worth your time. And then the very last one, we have divine punishment where it's basically just trying to dodge all of these projectiles and you're just trying to shoot Valkyrie and the less damage you take I think the more points you get but to me doesn't really kind of seem worth it but as we know you just need to do each of those enough to where you can get 1200 points because we get 1200 points daily or like I said just wait till tomorrow and do weapon destruction so Saki has been confirmed as the next limited banner character so let's quickly go over how worth is she to pull so the first thing you need to know about Saki is that you need to get her to at least a one star level she has two stances the surging heart style which is the DPS style in the comm style, which is the tanking style. And this is activated by having a fortitude residence or not. So if you want to tank in this game, Saki is a must pull. Pairing her up with Meryl, so that way you get that frost residence. And on top of that, she has a very good simulacrum trait, which is good for tanking. But even with the nurse, I don't think she's going to be that bad for DPS either. She's still going to be a core element, I believe, for the ice team. And she's just going to end up powering up Frigg. She can most likely take the role of a Shatter character since she has one of the highest Shatters in the game and she has a pretty good charge. Now when it comes to her star levels, of course they're going to increase her damage, but with these being the CN values, I don't want to make too many assumptions on how strong she will be. But I will be testing this character out and I'm going to try to have a more detailed guide when she releases. So let me know down in the comments what you would like me to test with Saki and I will try to include that in the upcoming video. But if you enjoyed this, I would greatly appreciate a like so that way this can spread more on YouTube. Then we got the weekly tab. You want to make sure you wait until 5 p.m. before you start collecting the stuff up top because the battle pass resets today. Pretty much five hours from now. Which brings us to our challenges. So if you're trying to do something like the Bygone Phantasm or Frontier Clash, you want to go ahead and use your Mia's Kitchens to power yourself up, but just make sure you use those before the end of the day. So starting with the Bygone Phantasm. So as I was saying yesterday, I recommend that you look at the weapon bonus. If you have a good weapon bonus, then you want to go ahead and use the Bygone trick and do sneak to next level. And then with that, you can jump up 11 levels if your CS is high enough. And if you're able to beat that floor, you gain those 11 levels. But after that, you can consider doing the Sequential Phantasm. But like I said, we might be getting a level increase soon, so you might want to wait. Frontier Clash. Now, if you have a vote team this is going to be pretty hard for you but if you have some friends that have been welling out and they got some other teams to help carry you you might want to get with them void risk we got another attempt today so go ahead and knock that out so that way you have a chance for that matricy and if this is the first time boss for you you definitely want to do it 
wormhole. Today is the last day to complete this and you wanna make sure you do that so that way you can get that energy crystal dust. And raids, as I've been saying, make sure you do the heroic of the first two and you do the battle test area. Apex League, if you're trying to reach Grand Marshal, you might wanna put a couple hours in each day. Then we got our daily advice. You wanna to go to shop, hot, and buy your two vitality solutions. Now this is only if you can afford it, which brings us to the commissary, starting with the crystal dust door. So you wanna make sure you buy your advancement modules, your booster modules, and your very special gift. And then when it comes to the potent omnium crystal, I recommend that you try to get enough at least to 8.3, but if you're a free to play slash low spender, you can consider passing. But when it comes to your golden crystal dust, I recommend that you get boots. And if you have a good pair of boots, then I recommend you get hand guards you have a good pair of hand guards and i recommend you get whatever else you want base time store essentially just using your fragments to buy combat engines cruise store now the only thing i recommend is that you buy relics and the relics that i recommend are space time rift unless you have a level three our omnium shield and how you get crew points is by doing your daily donations and knocking out your four missions for the week support store you want to make sure you buy your three joint supply chips and if you can, try to get the proof of purchase in the gold nucleus. And if you need help on how to do that, make sure you check out my return to point point guide. Point store. Now, the only thing I recommend is that you buy a spare special gifts so that way you don't have to do training, black market, or see this island again. But besides that, I would just explore Vera so that way you can be ready for Saki coming up in the future. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, check out my gray space preparation guide. But other than that, talk to you guys later.